you beautiful lot. Welcome to today's episode of Purple Vision. Now I'm back out here in Braunston. I've got Jamie Brady over there doing a wonderful video. Um, but we want to have a little continue on and kind of see where this railway line kind of came out of Braunston and went over the canal. So there's supposed to be another viaduct. Um, there's also the Great Central Railway here as well. Um, we did actually pop up to Willoughby and Braunston Station and just had a little bit of a look. So I'd like to show you that, then come on back and me and Jamie will take a little walk down there and we'll see if we can find the uh, the viaduct. So, cool. Uh, what did you say? It was blown up? Yeah, the Willoughby Viaduct was blown up. I think it was in bad state of repairs, yeah, so they I just... I saying it was blown up because it was in the way to do it. What no. was it was that it was blown up because it was just falling down. Yeah. Oh, so... Oh, look at them little coverts. That's a way up there, though, Jamie. Well, yeah, I'm just interested as to why that was so high, though. Hmm. It might have been. Oh, Jamie's going to have a little look on nls.maps. National Library of Scotland. Now, I have got a picture of the old station. I have to show you, and I can't exactly remember which side it was on. What side was the station on? On this side here. Should we have a little mooch? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the abutment. Yeah. yeah How comes it comes all the way back here and it's there as well? I don't think that's an abutment. This is probably set down like over at Rolston, isn't it? Mate. It could well... Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. There is supposed to be an underpass somewhere as well on this one. Oh, this oh. might have been a break, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I think a little bit Oh, we've got fencing. You sure it isn't just a stop getting down here? No. Got railway ash. Hmm. It's nice bits of lumps of coal. Yeah, yeah, very, 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 very. No, nothing. But that's interesting there. See where it's got their foot in. I noticed it from down there. Hmm. The thing is, though, the fact that that says station house, the other side, M makes me think it should be on the other station, side. Wouldn't it? Yeah. But the the Willoughby Viaduct is down that way. He's got sheep over there. Look. Yeah. Hmm. There, no, there isn't, no. Unfortunately. So maybe we won't be saying that. So maybe we won't. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Because when we go through Catesby, we want to see that. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, um, I, I don't really want to go there, not when he's got livestock. So yeah, there's nothing much left of Willoughby and Braunston Station. But, you know, we do want to... Uh, have a little walk around and see if we can see any remains of railway lines. Oh look, there's Ridge and Farrah here, look, in the field. So an ancient way of farming. That's pretty awesome. Cool. That's going to what, that other bridge that we saw. Yeah. This is now going back in the right direction. Right, okay. I've got some in my blooming so I'm welly. I'm not sure whether that actually recorded there, but uh, if it did, <laughs> let me just show you again, just in case it didn't, and I can edit it out. So, as the horses came down here, pulling the pulling the narrow boats, the ropes caught on this. I mean, this is really, really substantial iron, and you can see the ropes over how many thousands of times that's gone through there. Um, to do that is absolutely amazing. When you think that the ropes are only made out of natural materials back in the day, they didn't have plastic. Uh, then if you see a road, is that a railhead? Uh, That's a yeah. railhead. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, look at this. So this is a, uh, a junction for uh, what we got. We've got the Oxford and Birmingham Canal and then starting on with the Grand Union Canal from that way. So, yeah, it's a main junction for the canal network. And of course, you've got a toll house just on the other side. So. 
like the Birmingham toll road. When you get to the toll booth, you have to pay your toll. This is basically the old fashioned version. Welcome to Braunston. How's that? <laughs> Jamie says we've got puddle banks, so where they dug all the clay out to build the canals. Well, it's all down. There's a few mushrooms. Oh, bunny rabbits! Oh, lunch! Yeah, so this whole land here would have been quarried for the clay to then line the quarries that they were building. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. That's the weirdest bridge I've ever seen. What is that about? Wow. Well, maybe it's just farmer's access. So, our railway line. Oh, wow, look. There's our railway line over there. So if you remember from the Braunston station video that we did, uh, that's over there. And then the line would continue along there. That's the Weedon to Leamington Spa Railway. And you can just see the bridge just down there by the sheep. That's pretty epic. You know, I might just have to send a drone up just so we can try and see that whole line. Yeah, bear with me. I'm going to send her up. Because obviously we can't get over there. Let's see it, I can't really see it. But yeah, I don't know if you can see it there. Up in the distance there is the um there's a hole in the in the landscape if you like, and that's a tunnel and you, that line of trees over there is the uh weed into Leamington Spa railway line. You can't hear it or see it. As long as you've gone off in a straight line, you know where it is, didn't you? Yeah, so we'll take a little look back towards Braunston. So the way that land is there, I reckon that's a bit of a gully. And of course, looking over to Braunston Marina and that little tiny woods there behind the flaps looking building is the, uh, the station site. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Braunston Marina and then the village of Braunston. There's a little tiny church down there. There is, isn't there? I saw that. There's not even a road out of Braunston that way. No. Interesting. But surely over here, that, that is where the part of the, uh, what's well, it must be. Yeah. You can really tell the ridge and uh, farrow. Furrow in there, in the land. Yeah, it's real. It's in the land behind us. And in front of us. Oh yeah, and in front. First battery, and we're still on sixty percent. How lovely is that? You don't use sport like I do, though, do you? No, I like it nice and steady. I like them to just disappear off into the distance, never to be seen again. Like, like, romantic, <laughs> like some kind of romantic cowboy movie. <laughs> it's gone now. And then our railway line should be that long line of trees going off to the left from top middle to um, middle, le uh, middle left, yeah. It comes down by that church Jamie mentioned. In fact, that church is right next to it. Is there a big fancy country house down there? No. It's very strange that there's a church there and there's no roads leading to it, but... No, but you can see that railway line of beauty from here. Even the old earthworks here, mate, it looks really strange. Especially after looking at Daventry Hill Fort. Look. Yeah, but this is the puddle banks. Ah, OK, yeah, yeah. This is what yeah. I'm about the puddle banks. Where, they've been... where they got the clay from. I'm with you. I'm with you. But yeah, there's the railway line and that bridge there. Uh, I'd love to get a bit closer, but I wouldn't be able to pick it up on the visuals. So Anyway, there you go. I wonder what the next point of call is. Um, let's have a look further down the line, see where we're actually heading off to here. Should be interesting, shouldn't it? Because sure. appara so apparently the railway line would have crossed at some point.
down that way. Looks like a bloody long way there, Jamie, but you know, I think I can see it. Uh, can we see the Willoughby Viaduct? So then you've got the canal and then there's another railway line just further up. And yes, I can. Jamie, I can see it. I'm going to fly straight over our heads. It may wobble oh, a minute. Okay, mate. No, there is something called Waltham Coat Hall here. Oh. Ah, mate. Okay. Talking about the earthworks, there's the site of a village here. There's St. Peter's Church and then there is the site of the village. You'll see it when you upload the maps, mate. I'm over there. So that big gap in the tree line there is the Willoughby Viaduct that they've blew up. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. look at that. I don't really want to go any further because my drone is kind of getting out of signal here. But that's pretty epic. So, okay, that is a long way. I don't think me and Jamie are going to be able to get over there. So I'm glad I've got the drone. But if we do continue up this canal, we should be able to meet it a little bit further down. So I'll bring this down and we'll go have a ganders. Cool. Yeah, here we go. Um, so we'll so keep going on down here. I'll try and keep away from JD just a little bit because uh, he's got a lot of information to kind of give over to people. And I want you to go see his video as well as mine. Because I tell you what, I filmed over stones. What's that? I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, so um, me and Jamie, we explored Overstone Hall and there was quite a few of us that done videos and I'll tell you what, watching each and every single one of them, they're, they're completely different because it's different people's perspectives and I've enjoyed every single one. So big shout out to UK Urbex, loving your videos guys, um, yeah especially the one where you went on the boat, love it. So, yeah, we're oh, what is that? I mean you see the winch over there oh, yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's to drain this section of the canal off, mate. Oh, maybe. You, you know, you, you see the drainage ah, on the left-hand side. Of course. So maybe they, they're able to drain a certain section of it and just drain it into this valley down here. Ooh. So yeah, we're going to get a bit of a mooch on because we've got to get down here about half a mile. Um, yeah. And we'll find where the railway's actually crossed over the, the canal. And yeah, that's pretty much what we've come out for. Hmm, bloody right. Run away, run away. <laughs> Come on, missus, just jump. <laughs> oh, bless it. I love the way they can run on water like that. It's awesome. I think it's called flying. Yeah, I think it's half and half, isn't it? It's half and half. It's half and half. A bit of water buoyancy and a little bit of flat wind. A little bit of waterboarding. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you were doing in Pakistan. <laughs> 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 you were in a torrent, have a little bloody great hole. Yeah, so there you go. Just to show you how high up the actual uh, canal is. Down the is there, and the canal water is up here. Uh, we're really high up on here. The actual uh, the workings of it all, because this was done in the 1700s. You know, we didn't have any steam engines back in the day. Um, not, not back then, we didn't have any um, excavators. It's all dug by men with barrows and donkeys, horses, cows. There, there weren't no time for that. Oh, I can't be bothered. No, exactly, you know, exactly. no none of that. We've yeah. just come along a little bit and uh, you can see the Great Central Railway on the embankment up there. We saw a bit of a bridge and we've just looked and you, you see there's no embankment there. There should have been a beautiful viaduct, more than likely blue engineering brick and it's all gone, blown up. Not too sure when it actually blew up but yeah. But the height that's running, it looks like it did actually go over the canal so hopefully we might be able to see some more railway architecture further down the line down the stream we're getting there we're getting there i'm sure this is going to be interesting yeah let's have a quick look down yeah bloody right so i like culverts there's some honey fungus in the steps it's slippy as anything though I love taking these. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, God, these steps are treacherous. 
Oh, wow. Um, bear with me, I want over there. Oh, look. Yeah. I might even be able to get through the one with water. Oh, oh wow. Mate. Mate. Oh, wow. Uh, you, you know, no, you, you know, you know, me being me, because I am that idiot. Now, how deep actually is that? Oh wow, isn't that amazing? Oh, no, that's deep, isn't it? <laughs> that's deep. I was going to go through it, but no, that looks deeper than I thought, so... Um, I'll tell you what, we'll go through this one. I've got me light. Oh, it's actually brick. Oh, wow. Look at this. So this must just be for overflow. Yet again, another tunnel. So just, it wasn't too long ago, me and Stephen Cook from down the line rail went to the Warden Tunnel, just outside of Bedford, near Cardington Hangers. And here we are in another tunnel. Oh. But this one has the canal up top. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at the army truck. Oh, so here's someone's residence. Jamie, you're trespassing. <laughs> Just funny how it ends up, isn't it? <coughs> but there you go. Now you know what it looked like. Oh, look, there's even the green man in the window of the, uh, the old cab there, look. Brilliant. There you go. Now you know what was under here. I told you it would be a culvert. I knew it would be. Of course. I've seen so many now. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Right. Do bear with me. I'm going to make my way up top. Yeah, that really is quite bad. Yeah, that bridge is going to go, yeah. isn't it? Can we get up and around? No, they've got that well sealed off there. <laughs> Just a bit. Of hay there. And again, so here's the here's those pieces of wood. And they and slot into is, the gaps. There are the, the noggins or whatever you want to call it. So that they can drain that section. And I suppose that's probably quite a good idea. Um, Trade line fenders. Bridge number 97. Yeah. Massive crack all the way through it. So right, now. Now we're getting somewhere, probably where that canal boat is, there should be a bridge because our railway line is just up there. So. Right, okay, well, the Great Central Bridge is gone. I can just see the abutments just here. Oh, that's a shame. I would have thought we would have seen something a bit nice. Oh, what a shame. But still, goes to show, there was a railway here. And you've got railway fencing up here, look. Yeah, look, we've got an abutment in here. Awesome. Yeah, look. So, that's that one. Yeah, so this is the a Great Central Railway. Uh, it runs from London straight up north. And it was a later built railway compared to the rest. I think it was something like the late 1890s. So, yeah, um, the Great Central Railway, they do actually have um, part of the line that is still up and running. And I think it's the longest main line stretch in the UK. So it's up from 
Leicester North to Loughborough and the Great Central Railway. I have been there, I've even taken the family, so check out the video at the top and you can go see that epic video. So also a big shout out to Neil Perryman because he covers a lot of the Great Central Railway, especially where this um, HS2 is ripping up a lot of the land and, and using part of the Great Central Railway too. So big love to Neil Perryman, go check out his channel. So further down here should be where the Whedon to Leamington Spa Railway went over the canal. So you never know. We might have a bridge, and we do. We've got a bridge. Oh, there's one left, Jamie. Look at that. So yeah, as you can see, beautiful. This is it. What Jamie said. Where we found the, the oh, I stand corrected. It's yeah, actually a road bridge. Oh, wow. We may have to just resort back to the maps a moment. Yeah. Hmm. Mm, that's quite a big road as well. That is, isn't it? As if there's a road here, but I'm just driven down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's usually yeah, how it okay. goes. It's usually how it goes, yeah. I wanna that one, look. That's what Jack Jack are. Is that another bridge down there? I don't know. Please note access to this site is yeah, I'm still going up. I mean look. Oh right. <laughs> I didn't see nothing, mate. Is it bridge? No, it's not. Is it not? Oh, maybe it is a railway line then. It's also got a railway line. It's a hell of an incline if it's a railway line, huh? Yeah, they won't turn that. Wow. Five counties way. It's an unclassified county county road. Oh. So there's the canal down there. I'll just shut this one over. Wow. Okay. So the Great Central Railway is through there. We should be able to get to that part of the line. But there should be another part where the uh, the Whedon to Leamington Spa went over. And I haven't got a clue. Yeah, that's the Great Central, isn't it? So, like I say, I'm going to um, put the camera down for two seconds and I'll have a look at the maps on my phone. And obviously, yeah. while I'm doing that, you'll probably get to look at them as well. And in fact, if I do this, I haven't got the stand, so yeah. I'm just going to do that. And you can Bear with us and we'll just try and fathom it. this out. Right, so if I just line this back up with the canal so we know where we are. So that's look walking in the way that we were walking. Um, and then, of course, if we turn around quite nicely, <laughs> we should see the Great Central Railway. There it is. That's the Great Central Railway with the Willoughby Viaduct. That's all been blown to smithereens. And of course, then it would have crossed over there. That's where we saw the abutments. So this Whedon to Leamington Spa Railway apparently is running parallel with the canal. So let's try and see if we can see where it is. So it's actually a long way away from here, Jamie. I mean, there's a beautiful railway gully we could use to find it. But then, of course, the further we go, the, uh... Yeah, wow. Well, wow. Yeah, because that goes right up off. Yeah, it's a long way away from here. Yeah, it's right up there. That's beautiful. Of course, the further we go, the more you've got to go up. Of course, I think that's the road in the middle we see there. It's so much ridge and farrow. 
<laughs> so much ridge and furrow, <laughs> I can never say it right. But yeah, there you go, and it goes right off into the distance. I think it does cross the canal, but it's way, 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 way over there. To be fair, so. mate, that is... That's pretty mega, that is. I'll tell you what, where it crosses the canal looks pretty epic, to be fair, but like you say, it's a drive. And That's a drive and a half. So I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll bring this down, and um, I think we should walk along that side towards the Great Central Railway, Jamie. To be f oh, that side. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <coughs> so, um, yeah, we'll bring this down. We'll have a ganders. Yeah, so as you can tell from the drone footage, we're not exactly close by the old railway. Well, we are, but the old railway line runs right down there. And um, me and Jamie, we've just had a little look on the maps and it actually looks like we may be continuing this 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 one on into Fletzer. This lady saying that she can show us how to get onto the other railway. Which one? That one down there. Have we got time? Uh, what time is it? Uh, half, past, half past two. It's not half past two yet, is it? Half one. 20 to one. 20 to two. What do you reckon? Yeah, go on, so yeah, we can have a look, can't we? Yeah, we've got to be away by that. Cool. So, um, yeah, um, what was the next village on? You said about it. Looked, oh, Fletno, and it looks really interesting. And Long so, And Long Inchington. Long Inchington looks really, really interesting. So it looks like we're going to be in for part three then, won't yeah, we, eventually? Exactly. Yeah, awesome. no, we've All right, well, um, change of plan. Oh, all right, go on, you go first, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to do this in future? Just go, go yap, go yap up there. Right, so um, just speaking with this lady, she does actually say this footpath goes down to a sty right on the corner, and then we can get onto the Great Central Railway and possibly walk all the way up to where they blew up the viaduct. So, not over yet, not just yet. Awesome. You've got to love the locals, yeah. So, Somewhere over there, there's that bridge which we saw coming in from that side, which you can see from the drone. So, lady said that sty over there. I mean, look, there's a path through there. I just need to get through this rough. I'm going through. Sorry, Jamie. That's That's why we've got our wellies on. Hi. Wellies! <laughs> you look like a farmer, though. I do look like a farmer. Though. <laughs> I didn't bring me cloth cat with me. Bless her, right? Uh, I thought we were going to get into trouble, to be fair. <laughs> For what? For That's what? When we're out doing these videos and there's a pointy camera here, there and everywhere, the people start coming over to you, it can, it can feel a little bit like, oh God, they're going to come and tell us off. A lot of the time, most people, they actually say, oh, what are you doing? Can, can I have a look? Or, hmm. oh, I know something about this and it actually helps us a lot. But, so we're just going to um, climb <laughs> over this um, little sty here. He's going to laugh at me, showing my bum. Oh, it is actually a footpath. It is actually footpath. Yeah, he's not actually um, falling over. But it is footpath, is it? Yeah, look, look there's, a, there's a sign on the end. Oh, yeah, good. That goes in three different directions. Oh, look. Neil Perryman, here we are. This is the Great Central Railway. Right here in Braunston. <laughs> and, and there's the bridge, parapet, so you can just see them. Oh yeah, so this is the parapet you can see from the... Uh, Way over there, isn't it? And you can see here, like Maybe I can get my last drone shot looking at the destruction that was left from them blowing up the viaduct. Oh. Now I love viaducts, because it's very close to us over in Corby. It's still basically Northamptonshire, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, we have the Welland Viaduct, which is the second largest viaduct here in England. Next to the... Oh, what's it called? Overshap. <laughs> I'm sure it's on the Carlisle line. Massive long viaduct. That goes with a ribble head. Gotcha. So I love my viaduct. Oh. Interesting thing, Purple. I don't know if you saw on the... On the uh, on that thing, it's actually open access countryside. This, Is which it? means that as long as you treat it with respect, oh. um, then then you can you can wander around it. Oh, beautiful! I like that. That's what that meant. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. That's why it showed going in every direction. Uh -huh. It probably does mean just over there. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we're respectful yeah. anyway. But yeah, here we are. Look at this, uh, We've got ourselves yeah, a bridge. That, that ironwork that we could see. From over on the canal, yeah. Oh, I love it. Wow. Looks like farmer's access again. Wow, yeah, yeah. Wow. It's quite tight, 
high up as well. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Wow. wow. Down anywhere? No, it's all brambles that side, brambles that side. I don't know what that corner's like. Yeah, no, I don't think. No, it looks like it's pretty bad either, either side. Yeah, brambles and brambles. Oh well, that's right, that's not the main thing I want to really look at. I want to make my way right down here. I mean, look how wide this is. Definitely big enough for two lines. Oh, beautiful. Right, we're going to bang it down there, see if we can see where the uh, viaduct started. Oh, right. Sorry, I just had Leanne ring me. Uh, Leanne sends her love to all you lot. She's at home with her mum, dealing with Tommy, who is a lot better now. Thank you very much. So, um, uh, Toby, sorry. Toby, Tommy, who decided to name the kids that close together? So, anyway, this here is what I'm going to call the Willoughby drop-off. So, um, so, Jamie's just finishing up. <laughs> Good timing. And let's have a look. Oh, wow. So right here would have been a blue engineering brick viaduct. Is that what it was? Yes. It was beautiful, mate. Oh. That's a heck of a drop, mate. That is a heck of a drop. I mean, it's not a massive viaduct, but it has got water to go through. It has got water to go through there, so that makes yeah, it yeah. a viaduct. Awesome. And the interesting thing is that this is the, this isn't the weed into Leamington Spa one. No, it's not. But this is the great centre. Is it? Yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> or Leem, I don't know how it's pronounced. No, it's a bit like Nen and Nena yeah, exactly. and Nina. Yeah, exactly. Right, okay, well, now we're here. We've done it. So there's only one more thing to do. What's that? Get the droney. Are you getting... Oh, right. Oh, okay. yeah. Let's get that last scene. Wow. That's the beauty of it, though, isn't it? This is a massive, massive railway, isn't it? This goes all the way to London. What's yeah. to say we don't chase it down to London? <laughs> yeah, that'd be you cool, know, wouldn't time, it? Mate. That's mega. Amazing what would have been there. Can you see the um, the depot in the background, the prison? No, I can't, no. It would be a little bit further over to the left, mate. Yeah, I just want to um, get a good circle around here a minute. I've got 66 on the, uh, the old battery. Doing all right there, aren't you? Yeah, but usually I only go up and then turn around and then come back. Yeah, exactly.
Oi. Oh, ink cap. Jamie's looking at mushrooms. So yeah, there you go. Willoughby Viaduct, Great Central Railway, Weedon to Leamington Spa, Braunston, part two. Done. Now, I do believe we will be following, following the, um, the Weedon to Leamington Spa Railway further towards Leamington Spa because it looks very interesting as we get further down there. But just for now, I've got to make my way to Northampton Station because we've got Sir Nigel Gresley coming through. So for an end scene, I'll do that. But from right here, from me, Purple, and Jamie of Welcome to Wombledon, thank you very much, Jamie. Awesome. I think we need to trace this a little bit more because it goes all the way to London. <laughs> oh, no, mate. Oh, this opens up so many bits. But that's the best thing about railway hunting, isn't it? Always leads on to new bits and new bits. From here right now, I'd like to say goodbye, but I'll leave you with the last scene of a beautiful steam train over at Northampton. I hope you enjoy, like and subscribe, check out Jamie's Welcome to Wombledon group. If you want his music, music as well, go to, uh, go to Jamie Brady, aka The Mood Shaper over on YouTube. Love and light, a whole lot of unity. Oh.